All right, gang, so we are going to continue with our equations that help us out with, with acceleration. And this particular one that we're going to do involves displacement with constant acceleration. So here's, here's what we've got going on. So my oldest child recently got her driver's license. And as a dad, um, especially as a dad in Michigan, I worry a lot about things because you know, for those of you who are in Michigan, you know that like there's deer all over the place, you know, uh, like in the winter it gets really icy and the roads get nasty and stuff. So um, I, I, when I think about acceleration, I, I kind of think about my daughter in, in terms of, of driving, okay? So here's, here's what we're gonna do. There are four big kinematics equations. All right, and the one that we're gonna focus on right here today is, is this one, okay? We're gonna focus on how to find displacement when you have uh, an object that's moving at, at different velocities. Um, and, and these other ones we'll, we'll get into later, but here's the thing, um, at least in this class, I'm not expecting you to memorize these things, um, but I am expecting you to know how to, how to use them. So let's, let's kind of go over this equation a, a little bit, okay? So remember, what we have here is we have, have constant acceleration. Um, so that might be speeding up at a constant rate, that might be slowing down at a constant rate. But what we want to be able to do with this is figure out how far it moves during that acceleration or deceleration. So here's the, um, here's the, the equation that we have. So when we talk about this, um, x, okay, or I should say delta x, is just the displacement. It's how far that object has moved during that, that time. Uh, the vf, okay, so that's our final velocity. That's how fast it's moving when, at, the, at the end of this. Um, the initial velocity, that's how fast it's going at the beginning. And t is going to be for, for time. So when I look at this equation right here, um, there's no real, there's, there's not really anything that, that jumps out to me where people get uh, or have problems. Uh, just make sure you add up your velocities before you uh, multiply it at all. But here's the, here's the really important thing is that you need to be able to solve for any variable, okay? So while this is set up for solving for displacement, you should be able to use some basic algebra skills and figure out maybe what's the initial velocity or what's the final velocity or even the, the time, okay? So let's, let's do an example here. All right, so let's say my daughter is, uh, is moving along in the, in the car and she is going at a speed of 42 meter, meters per second. And then she puts on the, the brake, she starts to slow down until she comes to a stop 5.5 seconds later. What we want to do is find the distance that's traveled or that she travels while she's slowing down. Now here's, this is just something that I do um, because I tend to make stupid mistakes. Um, so whenever I'm I'm solving a, a problem like this. I like to kind of draw this. So here's, you're about to see my amazing, uh, my amazing artistic skills. All right, so here's, here's the car. All right, see, isn't that, isn't that a great car? Okay, so it's traveling along. It's at, so it's going, let's see. So this is our initial velocity, huh? So that's 42 meters per second. And it travels along. Okay, so she's she's starting to slow down. Uh, and the time that it takes her to slow down is, let's see, I think it's 5.5 seconds. Yeah. Okay, now at the end here, oh, I hope I can draw this as well as I did before. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so at the end here, she comes to a, to a stop, okay? So if you come to a stop or if you're at rest, you're not moving, therefore your velocity is gonna be, is gonna be, we'll say 0.0, .0 seconds. Now I'm not gonna worry much about sig figs right here. But oh, we also have to add that this is our, our final velocity. Now, let's see, here's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the distance that she traveled while she was slowing down. So I'm gonna just measure from the, the front of the car 
initially to the front of the car at the end. So that's our delta x. So we're gonna try to figure that out. So like I said, I just like to draw a picture. Hopefully that, that helps a little bit. Now let's let's solve this. Okay, so here's, here's what we know. We are trying to find the distance, okay? That's our unknown. So our delta x is our unknown. So let's go and once again, let's kind of like write down what we've got here. So she reaches a speed of 42 meters per second. So that is our initial velocity. So 42 meters per second. Um, slows down until she comes to a comes to a stop. So that is our, our final velocity. So that's since she comes to a stop, that's zero meters per second. And let's see, and uh, the and the time. Okay, so the time is if I could draw this okay, 5.5 seconds. Okay, so our equation, okay, we're gonna use this equation that we are looking for delta x, and that is one half times our initial velocity plus our final velocity multiplied by our, our time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start plugging things in. So we know that our, our delta x is equal to one half times 42 meters per second plus, um, let's see here, we've got uh, a final velocity of zero meters per second and then multiply that by the time which is 5.5 seconds. Okay, so if I plug that into my calculator, I take, let's see, 42 meters per second plus zero meters per second. Okay, that's, that's gonna be the same. That's gonna be 42 meters per second. Multi or divide that by half, or divide that by two, or multiply it by half. It's all the same thing, so that's around 21 meters per second. And then multiply uh, that 21 by 5.5 seconds and we are going to end up with somewhere a little bit over 100. In fact, when we do this, we get a delta x equal to 116 meters. All right, so it takes her, so she, it takes her 116 meters to slow to a stop. All right, hopefully that helps. Okay, so here's the next one. This time we've got another car and it's traveling at 25 meters per second. It sees Bambi waltzing across the road, which happens a lot here in Michigan. And Bambi happens to be 75 meters ahead. So this is good, Bambi's a ways away. So how long is it going to take her to come to a stop? So here's, here's what we've got. Okay, so here's, here's the car again. All right, and then here's, here's Bambi, all right. That's, do, deer have tails, right? I think deer have tails. Okay, so there, all right, so let's, let, let's draw this. Um, so at first, her, so her initial velocity is 25 meters per second. She slows down. Okay, so at, so like right before she hits Bambi, all right, she's traveled 75 meters and hopefully she comes to a stop. So that's gonna mean that she's, she's at a stop, she's at rest, so our final velocity is, is zero meters per second. But what is it that we're trying to, to figure out? Oh, we're trying to figure out how long it will take. Now when we talk about how long, we're not talking about distance, we're talking about time. So time is what we're trying to figure out. So let's solve this. Okay, so let's let's label our stuff. We're we're trying to figure out how long it will take. So that's our unknown. So time is what we're trying to figure out. So it's traveling at 25 meters per second. So that's our initial velocity. So 25 meters per second. Um, and it comes to a comes to a stop. 
So that means our final velocity is zero meters per second. And the last thing is that we know that it's gonna, the, the deer's 75 meters ahead. So that is our, that's our delta x. Okay, 75 meters. All right, so once again, we're gonna use the same equation. All right, we've got delta, let's see, x is gonna be equal to one half times our, <clears throat> excuse me, our initial velocity, which is 25 meters per second, uh, plus our final velocity, which is zero meters per second. And then we're gonna multiply that by time. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? If I wanna solve for time, I need to get this all by itself. Okay, so I could do this. Um, I can divide each side by one half times 25 meters per second. Okay, so that gives this to cancel out, but then I have to do the same thing over here. So one half times 25 meters per second. I just realized that I made a really stupid mistake here because our delta x is 75 meters. Okay, so that's better. Okay, so 75 meters divided by one half, well, let's see, one half times 25 is 12.5 meters per second. And so 75 meters divided by 12.5 meters per second. I plug that into my equation and I get, oops, I get a time equal to six seconds. And that's my answer. Okay. I think we've got it. So here's what we've done today. We have done an example where we solved for the, the our delta x, so our displacement. We've also done one where we solve for something other than delta x. So in this case, it happened to be time. Um, but you should be able to solve for either initial velocity or final velocity. I hope that helps with the, uh, the practice problems that you're going to do. Let me know if you have any questions.